place. Um, and these are, uh, are pieces of work by Key, who is a really wonderful Japanese artist who works in Tokyo. And he has worked as a, a mosaicist on sort of architectural scale mosaics for many, many years and has now started increasingly much uh, to show sort of exhibition pieces. And you can see here how he tends to work. He, well, in the, all of these pieces, he's using um, perlato, a particular kind of uh, uh, mosaic, also sometimes known as biancone, which is sort of white, creamy white, limestone-y material, quite, quite soft. And, uh, and he's worked with very fine uh, pieces. And what he tends to do is that he uses tools and he angle grinds a lot of the stuff. So he'll make the form, and I mean, this is absolutely particular to him. I don't know anybody else who, who does this. So he'll make the form, he'll make the mortar, he'll take the angle grinder and he'll, you know, roar. And you sometimes find these lovely sort of, like here, you find he has a little game where he's very specifically just allowing little bits of chunks to stick out. So it's not that sort of, you know, mortar, parchment form that he's doing. He's kind of, uh, he's thought about the nature of how the piece is presented and he's drawn different conclusions. He wants to show us something about the toothedness perhaps of, uh, of the material as it's on the inside. He wants to, he doesn't want to set it within something else. He wants it to have a sort of feeling of slabness, but slabness where he's asking questions about the edge of the piece of work. So, so internally too, you can see he's asking questions about the edge of the piece of work. You can see that he's thinking about divisions, there's a series of divisions here. This internal thing is a bit of a response to the form that he's found on the outside. There are all sorts of internal rhymes, but he's also played with the nature and patterns that he's found within within those particular areas that he's chosen to play.